Welcome, Forke. So this week, we are in a different part of the art room. So you'll notice behind me, we are in front of the color board. So I use this board a lot with my other uh, age levels to talk about color. And over here, we have something called the color wheel. We'll be talking about that um, as the year goes by, and especially next year when you guys are in kindergarten. And then on this side, we have what are called color schemes. So um, different colors put together and how those work. Um, I'm sure eventually you guys will be talking about primary colors. Um, and those are red, blue, and yellow. And so those three colors put together um, have a name. And primary is uh, the name for that. But we don't need to worry about that today. Today, we are going to be looking at crayons. All right. Um, crayons come in all different colors. Um, they've been around for a very, very, very long time, and there's nothing better than a new crayon. So I'm looking at these ones here, and they aren't broken. They aren't dull. A lot of my crayons in my classroom end up looking like this before long, which is has no wrapper, is kind of dirty from the other crayons around it. Um, and as nice as this is when you need to do certain things, there's still nothing better than a new crayon. So some of you probably never thought about it. Um, and others who are a little bit more curious, you might be going, how are crayons made? So the first part of today, I uh, found a video that shows you exactly how crayons are made. So you're going to watch that video, and then you're going to come back, and I'm going to show you a couple tricks on using crayons. So check out the How Crayons Are Made video, and then come back for my second half, where I'll be showing you how to use crayons. <laughs> 